We are moving right along to one of our U.S. military components. Today, we are with the Army Criminal Investigations Division. Can you guys start tell by telling me a little bit about your agency and what a day in the life is like for an Army Criminal Investigations Division employee? Yeah, thank you. So what I can tell you about the Army CID is one of the most unique things about the day of a life is it has to do with starting with what our mission is. Our mission supports all of the Army throughout worldwide in their combat readiness. So an agent has no idea what's going to happen to them that day. They start out, they have a plan, they know what they want to do that day, but then due to felony level investigations that we do throughout the Army, they have no idea. Like Everything starts, crime does not stop. And so one of our biggest sayings that we like to always say is that you have to be fluid. You can't be flexible because it's still too rigid. So. That's great. That really sets the stage for the kind of dynamic environment that these employees work. What would you say makes working at this agency unique to other federal law enforcement agencies? Okay, so what's unique about CID right now is that we're transitioning from a military-centric organization to civilian. And I know that doesn't seem too unique, but with ours, the transition has opened up a wide variety of opportunities. Everything from financial crimes to cyber, major procurement fraud. We have lab techs, forensic science officers. So there's a wide variety, just a huge opportunity to come into CID at the, at the growth where we're starting right now. And with that wide variety, there's also a variety in location options as well, correct? Can you tell me about some of the domestic and international locations an employee might work? Sure. So that's one of the other opportunities with CID is that we're both overseas. So we have many offices in Korea, Japan area, Hawaii, Alaska, which are considered through military as being overseas. However, then we also have Germany. We have Germany, Italy, and a lot of opportunities in Poland now, too, which is kind of unique. But uh, then you have stateside. So anywhere there's a military presence, to include with our major procurement fraud, we have many of the large cities where we have uh, Department of the Army contractors. So your opportunities are across the globe and basically anywhere you really want to go. That's great. So employees should know they can really go anywhere with Army SID. But how are those location assignments managed? Okay, so in the beginning, so when you first come into there, you're going to have an opportunity. Now, any of our overseas assignments, you would apply directly for an overseas assignment. They're not included, so they'll, they'll separate the stateside to the overseas. Now, stateside, you're going to be allowed to pick your top organizations, where you would like to go. But then in the end, I mean, basically, command is going to manage it as we keep doing it where the openings are at. Thank you. It's great to hear that there is some flexibility. People who want to be overseas can put in that option. But as always, the mission needs have to come first. So for our listeners who might be interested in learning more, are there any recruitment events on the horizon? And where can people go to learn more? Sure. We have several events coming up, both in person and virtual. And it is all listed on our website, www.cid.army.mil. Plus, you can also follow us on Twitter as well as LinkedIn and join Army CID to begin your career of courage. Join Army CID to begin your career of courage. I love that. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And for those who are interested, be sure to check out Army CID's website.